Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around a 2006 Sea Ray 175 Bowrider. This little boat is a stock boat of ours, so it's been sold complete with a warranty. It's fully serviced, fully prepped, everything works, and it's in immaculate condition. We're going to take a detailed look around the boat now. We're going to show you all the features inside it. We're going to put it through its paces in the water, get you a good look around the engine bay, and just generally give you a better idea of um, what sort of condition this boat's in and whether it might be the right boat for you. As I said, this is a stock boat of ours and we just picked it up recently. And the thing that really attracted me to this boat was the colour scheme. I think it looks really different, really unique. Very sharp looking boat. It's got this uh, cream top sides, beautiful yellow gel coat then um, on the entire underside of the boat. It's not just a colour band, it goes right the way down to the bottom of the keel um, and it just stands out, you know. All the time we're getting blue and white boats, everything's blue and white, which is great and they look well and all the rest of it, but you, you get a bit fed up with it after a while. So this, uh, this is a bit different, I think it looks the part, and if you want to stand out in the marina, then this boat's certainly going to do that. It's very, very infrequent that you see a yellow boat. Actually, our own boat's yellow, so particularly particular affinity for these yellow sports boats. It has contrast and black covers as well and uh, nice grey pinstripe and stuff on the hull. The whole thing is in immaculate condition. The boat was super clean whenever we got it. It's since had a machine polish um, and buff up by ourselves and it's been fully validated, detailed and prepped ready for sale. So taking a look down along the port side of the boat here, the conditions is beautiful. The, the gel coat both above and below the rail are perfect. Um, all the little fixtures and fittings are all in great condition. Everything's solid and secure. The rub rail is completely unmarked. Um, got the sea ray bides here, in beautiful condition as well. The pin striping then the, the boot striping down down low in the hull here is also perfect. And then coming right back to the, the corners here on the transom, they're uh, completely unmarked as well. Taking a look at the starboard side of the boat, it's pristine as well. It's, I mean, it's, Almost, it looks virtually like a new boat. There's, there's nothing that does anything to point out here. The gel coat's perfect. Nice deep shine, stainless steel cleats, great condition. Rub rail again, the whole way down this side, completely unmarked. The gel coat, the yellow gel, looks fantastic. Really deep shine to it. The, uh, the boot stripe in here, the, the, the grey and black stripe, are in perfect condition. Siri bides. It has, and from being really fussy, it's got a wee bit of scuff in there on the top of the, the bag where it maybe caught a fender or a rope or something like that but I mean you've got to be looking really hard to see that and then coming on down the back here again the gel coat perfect condition stainless steel cleat perfect no cracking or anything around that and, and looking then at the corner here as well this, is a, this area is really susceptible to getting damaged on these sports boats because whenever you steer the boat it kicks the corner in the opposite direction so it's really easy to catch this on the jetty or piling or anything and uh, this one's completely unmarked, not a single stress crack, chip, scuff, nothing. This is a 2006 boat and unfortunately there's no hour meter on it so I can't tell exactly how many hours the boat has. Having a guess at it I would say between 100 and 200 or something. Um, as far as we know it's only ever been used in fresh water. Uh, it, the hull bottom has never been anti -foil. you can see that yellow gel the whole way across the transom of the boat here and the stern drive. Well, this is one of the best indicators of how much use a boat's had, how long it's spent in the water and also what type of water it's been in, is the condition of the, the, the transit, the stern drive, sorry, at Mary Cruiser Drive. This one looks like brand new. Um, the, the guy that we got the boat from said he only really kept the boat in the water for maybe like a month or two months in the middle of the summer uh, and it was in fresh water on the Shannon system in Ireland. Um, and this drive, it, it looks like that, it, you know, that tallies up, the drives are like, this is the original factory finish, the original stickers on it, um, everything's perfect. We've renewed the anodes, the, only just for the look of them really, because they weren't, they weren't hardly eroded at all, but this brand new set of anodes on there, it's done as part of the service. Um, propeller is in great shape, the skeg's in perfect condition, and the whole thing just looks, uh, like I said, looks like, looks like new back here. Now the boat is going to get a full, we haven't had time to do the full mechanical service on it yet, but the engines are running perfect. Um, water test footage which, which we'll show you shortly, 
shows that she's going really well. But as part of that service, we're also going to replace the bellows. So that's the rubber bellows between the stern drive and the, uh, the transom assembly, just because they're due. They're, they're supposed to be changed every sort of five years or whatever. So we're going to make, make sure that's done. That's like a 400 pound job. So having that done means that you, know, you don't have to worry about it for the next four or five seasons. Um, and that's all part of the part of the package and included in the price. But yeah, if you want to take a look around here as well, you can just see how clean everything is around the transom. We've got this little transducer for the hummingbird fish finder depth sounder up there as well. Um, and gel coat back here is perfect too. This is a Sea Ray 175, so it's 17 and a half feet long, and it's just under it's just about seven feet wide. Um, the, being a Sea Ray, obviously it's a premium brand. They sit at the top of the tree in terms of like American sports boats from a quality point of view. Um, and you know, this one is no exception. It's got a beautiful hull molding here at the back, integrated uh, swim platform across the full width of the transom. It's all molded, non skinned with the Sea Ray emblem set into it here. The engine box is molded fiberglass again with these. Uh, this tread surface across the top of it so you can step into the boat over the top of the engine box without having to you know, stand on cushions and, and damage them and things. We've got a center ski toe point here, stainless steel ski toe and it's in great condition. We've got a folding uh, stainless steel bathing ladder as well, so an integrated handrail here for helping yourself up on the boat. And we've got a little uh, spot for the navigation light to go in, the pole light and stuff back here. Again, condition-wise, it's all fantastic. This boat comes with the Sea Ray factory bimini top. So stainless steel bars, black canvas uh, roof on there. That's a great sunshade. And also, it's very big. If you look, at it extends right from the front of the windscreen to just in front of the, the back seat. So it doubles up with a bit of a rain cover here in Ireland as well. But it's uh, in great condition. And like I said, it's a factory cover. There's also, uh, we're having a custom tonneau cover made for the boat as well. So it's a bit like the, like the Mastercraft Malibu style ones with the ratchet strap at the back, it comes down to the rub rail. So it's a lap, you know, the strap tightens in against the rail and it covers the entire top side of the boat. So it keeps all the gel um, nice and fresh and protected. There was a cover like that with the boat, but it's just got a wee bit tatty. So we're gonna re replace that with a brand new one. Um, as part of the deal as well, it's included in the, in the asking price. We're just waiting on it being made at the moment. Taking a look inside the boat, then I think this boat's got a great layout. A lot of these entry level bow riders, these sort of 17 and a half foot, 18 foot bow riders, have twin back to back seats on the, the port and starboard side. And whilst it does give you an extra seat, having another one of those over here, um, I think I find you lose a lot of deck space with it. With this single swivel and helm, helm seat, not only is it a better seat for the helmsman and you can rotate it to face the rest of the passengers and stuff if you're sitting having a picnic or a drink on board, but it also opens up this bit of floor space behind the seat. So if you've got a cool box or a picnic bag or something, you can stick that here and it's not going to be in the way, you're not going to be tripping over it as you move around the boat. It also means you can more easily store, if you want to put a wakeboard or something up along the side here, you know, the bindings aren't going to be in the way. So it just, um, I, like, I really like the way it, that it opens up the floor space on a boat like this and this would definitely be my personal preference. At the end of the day, you're probably not going to have more than you know five or passengers in, in the boat in it, most times anyway. So you still got seating for five in here behind the windscreen and you've got seating for another two up in the bow as well. Being a sea ray, the quality of the fit and finish is excellent. The upholstery is beautiful, really nice, nicely done and it's in great condition as well. Um, all the, all the mouldings here, the gel coats still looks great, nice deep shine to it. There's plenty of uh, like there's little cup holders moulded in here. The, the tops of the gunnels have um, non-skid tread moulded into them as well. So if you're hopping in and out of the boat over the side, you've got a, you, know, you can do that safely. We've got handrails here for each of the back seat passengers, these little jump seats either side of the engine box. As I said, the engine box is designed for walking on so you can step over into the boat. The deck is fully uh, fully moulded fiberglass deck, both in the cockpit here and up on the bow. Again, all uh, non-slip surfaces here and you can just hit it with a hose to keep it, keep it clean and tidy at the end of the day. Um, we've got a handrail there for our passenger seat as well. 
and uh, the storage then in the gunnels too. You get these molded in storage bins. I can like in this one, that one's just open for popping all your bits and pieces, your phones, wallets, handbags, stuff like that. So the whole thing is uh, it's really well done and condition wise, it's excellent. These little uh, jump seats either side of the engine box in this boat are great because they're they're low set. Um, although this is a, a 175, and it's probably going to be commonly compared with like a Bayliner 175 because there's so many of them around. Um, the steering ray must be, <clears throat> it always feels more substantial, it looks more substantial, it's, you know, it's a taller boat, it's got higher gunnels and stuff, so you're sitting lower down inside, you feel like you're properly sitting inside the boat back here, so kids and stuff shouldn't get nervous or anything if you're sitting, if they're sitting back here whenever the boat's on their way. Um, there's a couple of very minor things I want to point out in terms of the condition, just so you know exactly what you're looking at. If you're traveling a long way to come and see the boat, you know what you're going to be coming to see. Um, first of all, in the top of these little seat, seat backrest here on either side, got like a little sort of speckle and very, very slight stain. I don't even know if the camera's going to pick that up. Um, it must have come off the, the cover. This is the only thing I can think of. Um, and uh, we didn't want to rub too hard at that to take that out, but you have to be looking really close to find that. One other little, two small, more, two more small things. First is uh, just on this seat here. You can see we got a little. It's not even tore the uh, upholstery, but it's just sort of it's taken the top layer off. It scuffed off it, and on this this base of the the passenger seat, one little tiny nick. That is it. The rest of the seats, the, the helm seat and everything's perfect. These little cushion panels on the sides of the gunnels, they're perfect as well. As I said, all the handrails and everything, they're all in great condition. Cup holders, all that sort of stuff, everything's there. Um, so, literally just a couple of wee minor issues with the upholstery. And that is the, that's the worst of the, the issues that this boat has. But, at least you know, if you come and look at it. Sitting over here on the passenger seat, you get a great view forward. The windscreen comes up to well over your uh, your head height, so it gives great protection from the elements, the, the wind, whenever you're underway. With this um, nicely finished glove compartment here, little C ray badge on it, stainless steel hinges. It's got the stereo in here, so we've got a stereo CD player, uh, matched up to two speakers here in the cockpit. 4G access is free until June 30th, 2016. Subject to device compatibility and coverage. That's all, uh, that's all working really well. You can pop off the front face of that stereo to take it with you if you're concerned about security. Um, cup holder here, and as I said, storage in, along in here, and there's a little fire extinguisher down in there as well. There's a great helm position on the boat. Um, as I said, we've got this swiveling uh, helm seat with a nice bit of side bolstering in it. Um, Sea Ray steering wheel, got a nice dash here, carbon fibre effect with a full range of instruments uh, set into it. We've got a fuel gauge, trim gauge, speedo, uh, engine, RPM gauge, oil pressure and temperature. And we've also got a Hummingbird Pranamax 210 fish finder and depth sounder. And it's conveniently located here, it's not in the way but you can still see it and you can still, you still have use of your cup holder here as well. Um, throttle and shift levers over here on the right hand side well positioned and we've also got a little 12 volt uh, power outlet here, a little cigarette lighter socket so you can charge a phone or something as well. Storage in the bin down along here, you've got a raised foot rest for bracing yourself if you're out in choppier conditions. In terms of the equipment everything's working, obviously the dash is completely working. As I said it's a stock boat so it's had a full service. I think everything was working up here, we didn't have to do anything, but we'll just make sure everything's 100% this is all covered by our warranty as well, and we'll set that warranty to start at the beginning of the 2016 season, there's no point us giving you warranty on a boat that's sitting in a garage over the winter, so we'll start the warranty whenever the boat goes in the water for you next season. Um, in terms of the equipment here, we've got an engine blower motor, bilge pump, uh, It's I think, I'm pretty sure it's an automatic pump, but it's got a manual override switch here as well, we've got our navigation lights here, nav light on the bow and there's also the, the pole light that goes on the stern and um, we've got the, the horn, this very characteristic Sea Ray horn. It's actually the only horns that seem to last any length of time. Most of the other horns in these boats, it's the first thing we have to replace whenever we get a boat, a stock boat in, the horns hardly ever work but the Sea Ray ones, they sound different and they're obviously built a hell of a lot better. They, they stand the test time. 
So um, yeah, the whole thing, it's, it's, it's fitted with a 3 litre engine, it's a Mercruiser 3 litre 135 horsepower engine. It's a great match for the boat, gives the boat a really good turn of speed, gets up on the plane quickly, it'll run right up to sort of 45 miles an hour, great performance for pulling skiers and things. Um, if, uh, it's also very economical as well, um, and even with a full load of, uh, of people on board, the boat's rated to carry seven, even with the seven people on board, it'll still get up on the plane. Um, and perform as it should. So we're going to show you around the engine bay now, we're going to fire it up, let you hear it run, and then we're going to put the boat through its paces in the water so you can see exactly um, how it performs underway. Engine access is really straightforward. Because we've got this fiberglass molded cover, it just lifts up on two gas assist struts, um, so you don't have to move anything out of the way, lift any cushions, uh, and then you've got great access around the, around the, the engine for your Daily checks, you know, dipping the oil, checking the power steering fluid, checking the gearbox, uh, oil level, things like that. The engine bay is super clean. Um, this is exactly how it came into this. We haven't had a chance to service the engine, as I said, just yet. But will we get a full, full service? We're going to change the oil, change the filter. We're going to change the gearbox oil. We're going to change the fuel filter, degrease it, grease all the cables up, and just fully inspect everything. But it's running. It starts first turn of the key. It is a turnkey start engine, which means that you don't have to pump the throttle um, like you do in older models. It's just like starting your car. You just turn the key and it goes. It's an automatic choke feature on it. Um, but it's starting really easily and it's running really nicely as well. Um, as I said, it makes 135 horsepower. It's matched up to the Alpha 1 drive uh, and it's a perfect match for the boat. It's made by the same people that own Sea Ray, so it's, um, everything comes out of the same, same company and it's a, a great motor. We've got lots of experience with these Merit Cruisers. Bulletproof in terms of reliability. Parts and servicing are really easy. There's a really extensive uh, service network for Merit Cruiser throughout Europe. And um, that's just a really economical to run, economical to own engine. And provided you look after it, it should give you absolutely years of trouble for use. Like I said, if I had to put an estimate on it, I would guess this boat's done around 150 hours. And that engine's going to run a couple of thousand, three, three or four thousand without issue.
access out into the bow section is through this open and windscreen. Uh, we've got these little rubber, two rubber standoffs to keep it up off the, the other glass there. And it's a decent width walk through here. You can, you can walk through it so that it's not too narrow or anything. And um, like the rest of the boat, the seats up here are very low set. So again, particularly on like the Bayliner 175, if you're comparing this to Bayliner 175, you'll find that the seats tend to be set higher in the Bayliner and it's a wee bit of it, you're sort of perched on top of it. The boy as opposed to sitting down in, and I know it can sometimes be a wee bit off-putting for, for smaller kids and things. This one, like I said, the seats are really low set. So you can sit down in here, get these upholstered backrests on both sides. There's loads of room up here for two passengers. You're sitting inside the boat, you've got this handrail here as well. And um, it's just a, a, a much more usable bow area, I, I always think, in the seaways. We've got two cup holders up here, the floor's all moulded, um, non-skid decking, fully fiberglass line, just hit it with a hose to keep it clean. We've got a little a cushion here at the front as well, all the upholstery up here is perfect. It's uh, the seat backs, the seat bases are in great, great condition, uh, the gel coat and everything's all marked, and it's just a great extra bit of space to have on the boat. Um, We've got some storage in underneath here as well. Carpeted storage bins, the carpet's in nice condition. No signs, no evidence of any previous uh, like water or anything lying in there. Um, and again, gel coat all around there is all in great shape. Same story over here as well. So it's, um, condition everything's really nice up here. Another great feature on the Sea Ray 175 is this uh, floor locker, the underfloor ski locker. So, it's uh, much bigger than usual on, on this size of boat. Um, it's all fiberglass lined as well. It's not just directly into the bowl, so things won't rattle around, you won't lose things out of there. But it's big enough to accommodate skis, whiteboards, stuff like that, and it's on a little uh, strut that holds it open here too. So, um, yeah, people always like that big locker, big uh, floor locker on these sea race. The boat comes complete with this uh, sea ray factory trailer. So it's a galvanized trailer. Um, it's custom matched to the boat. It's really easy to launch and recover the boat off that trailer. It's just your standard American carpeted bunks, drive on, drive off. Uh, it's very straightforward. So there you have it. That's our 2006 Sea Ray 175 with Mercruiser 3 litre, uh, 135 horsepower steering drive engine. Hopefully, you'll agree that the whole package is in great condition. It's a stunning looking boat. This, the yellow gel coat really sets it off. Sets it apart from all the usual stuff out there. Looks different, it's gonna stand out from the crowd. And being a Sea Ray as well, it's just got that extra bit of, well it's got the badge, the, you know, the, the, the name recognition factor, but it also, you can see why they've got such a good name. You know, there's lots of little neat design touches in through there with all the cup holders, the molded in engine box, um, the nice upholstery, the deep set seating in throughout the boat, the beautiful curved windscreen here as well. And, um, They've taken as a whole, the boat just looks fabulous. This one, uh, we've done our best to make it as close to like new as we can. Everything works exactly as it should. The whole boat is pristine, it's been buffed and polished in beautiful shine. Um, the engine service, the bellows have been done, uh, it's being sold complete with that comprehensive three month warranty to start from the beginning of the 2016 season. So you can have virtually the whole season trouble free boat in complete peace of mind and um, and yet I mean we, uh, we we really do try to make a fuss of all our stock boats and you know we, we try and treat our customers right if you're buying a stock boat from us um, it's really you go we go the extra mile to make sure that you're going to be absolutely delighted with the boat because at the end of the day we want you to come back and buy your next boat from us we want you to tell your friends as well so it's in our best interest to make sure that the boat is put out to you exactly as it should be and uh, we think this this sea ray is definitely going to be um, be a great buy for our next owner so if you like the boat uh, and if you want to come and have a look at it or if you've got any questions about it please don't hesitate to get in touch you can drop me an email or give me a call or fill out the callback request form on this page of our website and I'll get back to you at a time that's convenient thank you very much for watching